Hello guys, welcome to another SOAP UI tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a bit more about the CRUD examples in the SOAP UI method. So we have mostly seen till now is um, the GET uh, request. And now in further tutorials, what we are going to learn is about uh, the CREATE, READ, UPDATE and DELETE methods as well in SOAP UI. So if I open SOAP UI, you can see uh, these are the four key methods that you will be using most of the time. So we have covered a lot about the GET method already. Now what I want to cover is about the POST, PUT and DELETE as well, which are the basic four CRUD operations. So uh, CREATE, READ, UPDATE and DELETE. So POST is for CREATE and then uh, GET is for READING and then put is for um, update um, and then uh, delete is for delete right so these are the four key methods that we'll be covering in further upcoming tutorials and then what i'll cover is i'll cover another end-to-end -end test case and i'll include all these crud operations or crud methods in one single test case which will give you a fair bit of understanding how to write the test cases in soap ui and utilize all these methods to design your end-to-end -end test case right so in the last tutorial what we have seen is we have seen the dynamic value that is coming from one of the responses we were capturing that and then passing it in the resource okay in the resource um, um, so here it is a parameter so you can see that tech id is uh, the parameter that has been defined right so we were passing that particular uh, dynamic value from the response of the previous uh, of the first request into the request of the second uh, rest api request which was in the resource now there would be possibility that there, you you need to pass that particular dynamic value uh, not just for the get but for the post and in the post you will be uh, passing that dynamic value into the JSON format, right? So we'll cover that in upcoming tutorials as well. Now, I'm not taking any of the dummy uh, or sample APIs anymore. So what I'll uh, use now to cover all these methods, uh, different methods and end-to-end -end scenario is the Asana um, APIs. So let me open Google. So let's see what Asana is. So I'm searching Asana and Asana is um, just a application to manage your team's works, projects and tasks online. So if you go to the Asana website and uh, see the pricing, so Asana comes in different flavors. So pricing is um, for the, there is a free tier available as well. Um, let me directly go to the pricing uh, and show you how you can enroll for Asana and then start using the Asana APIs to learn. So to, to register, just click on get started and you will get the sign up page. So use your, um, you know, any uh, of the of the email account to sign up. Um, one thing is to remember here is that if you are using your Gmail account to sign up or any other email, uh, public email, then uh, that you will have limited functionality. If you have your own domain and you have an email, you will be able to um, get access to create the team, to create the organization, uh, which will only be available if you are a business owner, right? But to learn, you can use your Gmail ID and then go ahead and try to explore what Asana is and try to explore the Asana APIs, which we'll be using in this uh, upcoming tutorial. Now, if we go to the developers.asana.com, you will see the whole Asana API, uh, the RESTful interface and what all um, different APIs are available there, okay? So here if you see um, in the basics, all right? In the basics, if you scroll down, you have the object hierarchy of Asana, you have the organization structure, team, project, and then tasks. So all these are the resources as we see. So if you see in the Asana RESTful API, your organization will be a resource and then there'll be project will be a resource. And then the, the API, the Asana API, um, uh, 
basically the uh, endpoint will be just one endpoint in the asana api all right so let's try to explore some of the uh, apis here so if you see the project so if you see project api documentation you can see different uh, methods get post put delete different methods available and what all um, different details are available so if you click on the get projects you will see all the documentation about these asana project api right so this is the endpoint projects and that's basically to get the detail of all the projects that are in particular uh, workspace so these are the parameters that you need to pass to get the details of the project right so that's how you go ahead and start exploring the asana api now uh, once you are enrolled or you have signed up you also need to create the token so if you go to the uh, home page once you sign up you will go to this particular home page once you log in right and then go to the my profile settings and in my profile settings go to apps and because this is not on just an open um, api which anyone can hit you have to basically register and get the token in order to work with this particular api right so once you click on manage developer apps you will be redirected to developer console and in the developer console you can generate your token right uh, which is oauth2 token so it's taking a while so here on the developer console you can see that you have the option to create your personal access token so in order to create a token you just click on new access token and it will prompt you the name that you need to provide for that particular token so you can provide whatever name you want agree to the api terms and condition and then create token and it will generate a token uh, a string uh, that you need to copy and paste in the authentication part of your soap ui all right now let's see how you can configure that so before that let's see the endpoint for the projects that we'll be using okay so here we are uh, on this particular page on the asana developers page what you can do uh, you just go to um, you know the, on the page and try to search the detail or directly you can browse through um, the content here so you have api reference attachments and then different option for the project portfolios what all uh, endpoints or resources are supported for particular portfolio or project so we are interested in project now i'll go to the get uh, sorry we'll go to the post projects okay so what i'll do is i'll click on or copy this uri and what this does is post project is basically create a new project in a workspace or team okay so that's what we are interested in as part of the post method so we'll copy this and then go back to the soap ui and we'll create a new project okay and then i'll show you how you can configure the auth token so just create a new rest project and provide the URL. and here it is so the new rest project has been created we'll rename it all right so that uh, it is uh, easy to remember so asana demo test all right and now here you can see that the default method is get endpoint is app.asana.com and resource is api 1.0 project all right now if you go to the documentation again here uh, that's the endpoint okay and then you have the body parameter that you need to pass okay but before that what we need to do is we need to um, configure the authentication okay so now if i just go ahead and hit this particular request okay just the get request it will throw an error that it is not authorized okay so let's run it and finish um, 
the execution and see what the response is okay so in the response if you click on json you will see message not authorized okay so for more information on api status see how you you go to this developers documentation right and in documentation you will see getting started and error so if you follow this particular url it will give you a lot more detail on the errors that you might face in future and how to resolve those now this is because this is the authorization error we know that we haven't configured the auth token here okay so what you need to do is you need to configure the auth token and once you will enroll you will have your unique auth token okay so if you go to this particular request here just close this and close the get method as well so here in this particular request to configure the auth you need to click on this auth here okay and once you click on the auth you will see the authorization so at the moment there is no authorization now because you need the oauth token so you just select add new authorization select the oauth2 okay provide the profile name so just say asana you can provide any name there and click on okay now whatever access token you will get from your uh, asana uh, account that's what you need to paste here and that it, that's pretty much it so once you will paste that token here that authorization part or the response that you are getting not authorized will go away and that will be perfectly fine so to set up the authentication that's what the process so go to auth um, select the authorization to the new add new authorization provide the name um, provide uh, the type uh, provide the profile name and the access token that you will get from the asana website so once that's all done you are almost set up to hit your first post request to asana and in the next tutorial we will try to create a new project using asana api create project so hope you like the video thanks for watching